Can femininity be measured by the foot? My feet are small and cute and I think really feminine. Femininity is definitely measured by the foot. Without my high heels, I just feel like a little kid. I thought femininity was measured by the cup size. 39-year-old Dawn does not think her feet are feminine. This is what I hate about my feet. My bunions right here and my bunionettes. Friends make fun of them. They call them Fred Flintstone feet and uh, E.T. feet. That's my big toe, it looks like E.T. Now Dawn is undergoing surgery to remove her bunions so that her feet can be more beautiful. And the shoes that I do have, they all have little bunion relief holes. <laughs> I try not to wear heels too often, but I would like to. I would like to wear high heels daily because I'm only five foot three. The bunions must die. <laughs> Does the ability to wear high heels have real value? In a hidden camera experiment, we test whether Mary's authority decreases when we change her from stilettoed and slim ankled to flat soled and cankled. The Annals of Human Biology reports that small feet indicate youth and that men are biologically programmed to find youth attractive because it indicates increased reproductive potential. Are itty bitty feet feminine feet? Itty bitty feet are definitely feminine feet. I think my small feet make me look more dainty and attractive. I have very small feet and guys tell me all the time how cute and feminine they are. Well, if the littlest feet are the most feminine, that means we all reach our peak of femininity when we're born. Elizabeth Semelhack is a curator at the Batashu Museum. In many places, small feet are considered feminine. The most famous example is ancient China. For a thousand years, the Han Chinese bound the feet of their daughters. Ideally, a perfect size foot with three and a half inches. 39-year-old Dawn does not think her feet are perfect. Aesthetically, they're horrible. I noticed them in high school. I guess I was 14, 15 when they started to bother me. My sisters have varying degrees of bunions since they are partially hereditary. The other part is bad shoes, of course, and how much time you spend on your feet. Dawn has a very hard time finding a pair of shoes that fit her perfectly. Walking shoes, never mind dress shoes when you have bunions the size of my sister's, and, and that is a challenge. These are my uh, beautiful designer shoes, but I have refused to wear because they expose my bunions. $500 shoes have never been worn. As you can see, I have to wedge my foot into the shoe. You can see my bunions from every which angle, and it's frightening. Most of the time, I'm wearing orthopedic shoes, and they're very comfortable. But as you can see, they're not very sexy. <laughs> Dawn is willing to undergo surgery to remove her bunions so her feet can be more attractive. I'm willing to go through anything to get them corrected. I think it's gonna be painful, but no pain, no gain, I guess. My foot, as you can see, will look a lot better without this right here. It'll look normal. I'm hoping for pretty feet. It's just something that I need to deal with. An American study of footwear reports that stiletto heels shift a woman's center of gravity, and by pushing her body weight forward, they force her to take a stand or strike a pose. And that this body posture and the added height sends a message that she demands authority. In a hidden camera experiment, we put this research to the test. We're sending stilettoed Mary to a downtown sidewalk to stand guard over a chalk-lined no-pass zone to find out what percentage of passers-by will respect her authority and comply with her instructions to walk outside the box. Can you make sure you walk around? Thank you very much. Cheers. Excuse me, ladies, can you walk around? Thank you. Yes, I am. Can you make sure you stay outside of it? Thank you. You, uh, watching the ex? You look like my ex. 
Hi, can you just make sure to walk around this? Thank you. Can you make sure to walk around? Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Hi, sir. Can you just make sure you walk around? Ah, it's a good one. <laughs> Stilettoed Mary seems to have no trouble getting passers-by to respect her authority. Hi, can you make sure you walk around? Thank you. Sir, do you mind walking around? Thanks. Just around the box. Thank you. Appreciate it. No worries. 100% of the passers-by Stilettoed Mary encountered respected her authority and complied with her instructions to walk outside the box. Hey, do you mind walking around? Thanks. No worries. I just want to make sure you walk around. Thanks. She looked good and she looked important. I just thought, oh, okay, and walked around. I actually have no clue why. I just did. For me, wearing the heels, I felt more authoritative. So I felt I could order people around. I think Mary clearly felt empowered. And it was her actions and her body language that made people comply with her requests, rather than, I would argue, the heels themselves. Dawn's bunions keep her out of high heels, and she's willing to undergo surgery to remove them. On the subway, I look at other people's feet because I'm envious of people that don't have bunions or bunionettes. I catch them looking at them all the time, so if I have a shopping bag with me, I'll set the shopping bag over my feet or my purse or whatever because they're pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my bunions. They make my feet look ugly. They make anything I wear look ugly. I hate them, so that's why I'd like to have them eliminated. Research from the University of Verona shows that putting the foot at a 15 degree angle, produced by wearing a two inch heel, improves the strength of a woman's pelvic muscles, which can in turn boost her ability to have orgasms. Can pumps. Pump up your sex life? Mm -hmm. My high heels definitely pump up my sex life. I have met a lot of guys because of the shoes I wear. My red stilettos pump up my sex life. Check out these babies. One recent study suggests that over 80% of women's shoe purchases are actually done to help a woman appear more sexually attractive. In the second part of our hidden camera experiment, we're transforming Mary from slim ankled to cankled. And swapping stilettos for flats. And we're sending her back to the downtown sidewalk to find out what percentage of passers-by will respect her authority and comply with her instructions to walk outside the chalk-lined no-pass zone. If the research is correct and stilettoed women have authority, then flat-soled Mary may find fewer people will walk outside the box. Hi, do you mind just walking around here? Thank you, no worries. Would you mind just going around there? Thanks. Do you mind just walking around? Sorry. Oh. Yeah, thank you very much. Maybe the research is wrong. Hi, do you mind just walking around that there? Thank you. 100 percent of passers-by comply with flat sold Mary's instructions. Hi, do you mind walking around? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. But her authority does come into question. I can't tell you, but thank you for not walking through. Do you mind just walking around? Thank you. I can't say, but you'll find out soon. <laughs> I can't say right now, but... I can't tell you, but maybe you should ask my cankles. I can't say right now, but you'll find out soon. Thanks so much for walking around it. I just want to make sure you walk around it. Thank you. I can't say right now. Do you mind just walking around? Thank you. What do you got there? I can't say. You'll find out. What if I walk in the next time? You don't want to do that. <laughs> I felt like with the cankles and the sneakers, people uh, reacted to me differently in the way that they were kind of more laid back and, you know, felt like they could talk to me and converse with me rather than when I was in my heels. All right, sir, do you mind walking around here? They just did what I said.
Dr. Hartley Milchin is a podiatrist practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Dawn today for surgery to remove her bunions. Good morning, Dawn. Good How morning. are you? Good morning, Dr. Milton. Good, thank you. Gorgeous bunions. Oh, thank you. So uh, I see you've been nurturing those your whole life? Unfortunately, yes. And they're starting to bug you? Uh, not starting to. They have been bugging me since, well, since my teenage years. When you stand or when you walk, mm -hmm. your feet have a tendency to roll towards the big toe area. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you put extra stress and weight on the big toe joint. And over time, the bones in here deform. So really what a bunion is, is not just the bump we see, but it's a deformity, as I'll show you on the x-ray. This bone here, instead of being straight like the other fellas, it's twisted out. I do what's called minimally invasive surgery. I make three cuts in this area and realign the whole area. So instead of the angle that we see, once I'm finished, it will be 100% straight. Mm -hmm. Bone has to heal. So rather than putting a screw in and casting you for the eight weeks, mm -hmm. the way I secure this area mm -hmm. is I put a very tight tape bandage around the front part of your foot and give you a special surgical shoe to wear. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Surgery to remove bunions is not without risk. Dawn could face complications. Bunion recurrence. If the bone is not realigned accurately, the bunion may reappear. Numbness. Damage to nerves can result in permanent numbness. Disfigurement. Poor surgical technique can leave toes pointing outward instead of straight ahead. Dawn is willing to take on the risks to get her feet back into stilettos. She arrives at the clinic on surgery day. Today I go in for my first bunionectomy. I'm excited. I want to see how my feet will look. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good. Excited? Yes, very excited. Yeah. Dawn, have a seat, honey. Great. I'll call you when we're ready. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm hoping for pretty feet. They won't look like the beasts that they are now. I'll be able to buy shoes without a problem. I'll be able to wear high heels again. <sighs> Freudian psychology suggests that the foot is a phallic symbol and the shoe symbolizes female genitals. And researchers from the University of Bologna found that among sexual preferences for body parts, feet and toes were the most popular, with 47% of those sampled preferring them. I love women's feet. I like how they feel in my hand, like the bone structure. I just find women's feet very sexy. I have a weak spot for shapely, delicate feet. But for me, women's feet are just plain erotic. The University of Bologna research also revealed that when it came to objects associated with the body, there was a marked sexual preference, 64% for footwear. Only 12% showed a sexual preference for underwear. We're going to downtown Toronto to put this survey to the test. We're asking women to tell us whether they think men are more turned on by shoes or by underwear. What do you think men are more attracted to, shoes or underwear? Underwear. Underwear. Definitely underwear. Underwear, I feel, is a lot more sexier to men, and it's a lot more personal. I would say shoes. Shoes. I think I'll go with the shoes. All the men that I've known, they, they really they appreciate shoes. I think they prefer shoes as well. I think it's underwear. It's the an anticipation. Definitely underwear. I just think it's more sexual for them. Feet are kind of dirty. And Okay, feet are dirty? You know what else is dirty? Shoes or underwear? I would say shoes because I think they'd rather see the underwear off and the shoes kind of romanticize a part of the body that's otherwise not considered too much. I'm gonna guess footwear. A girl wearing like really hot high heels and normal underwear would probably be more of a turn on than a girl in really crappy like runners and underwear. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say uh, underwear. <laughs> Yeah, definitely underwear. Underwear. 
Yeah, I don't know, because it hides something that they want to see when feet are just kind of not that pretty underneath the shoes. Not the same footwear. Yes, I was thinking that. If it was like a guy's choice to choose between hot underwear or hot shoes, I'm sure they're, they'd rather go buy hot underwear for their girlfriend. The majority of women, 53%, think men are more turned on by underwear than shoes. Will the women be right about men? Hi, Dawn, you can come on in. Great. Dawn wants her feet to be more beautiful, and she's undergoing surgery to remove her bunions. Have a seat on Great, thank you. Had them my whole life. I've been putting it off far too long. I'm ready to be done with the bunions. I want to see results. I'll be walking barefoot everywhere after this. Yeah, I'll do. Dr. Milchin begins with Dawn's left bunion. An anesthetic is injected to make the procedure less painful. Uh. Next, he makes three small incisions to get access to the misaligned bone. Dr. Milchin cuts the bone in three places so that he can then move the bone back into alignment. That's how it's going to look. Finally, Dr. Milchin binds the foot with tape to hold it in its new position as it heals. We're done. Wonderful. Surgery on Don's left bunion took 20 minutes to complete. How does Dr. Milchin feel the procedure went? The procedure went very, very well as expected. I made the cuts right in here, right along here, and right in the toe area. So now they all meet and it's all perfectly aligned. I think Don is going to be extremely thrilled with the final result. It will be three weeks before Don's left foot heals and she's able to undergo surgery to remove the bunion on her right foot. <laughs> A survey of 150 foot and ankle surgeons in the United States reveals that half of patients who request foot surgery do so for cosmetic reasons, to shorten long toes, narrow wide feet, or have fillers injected to make it easier to wear high heels. But can high heels be a health hazard? Ow! I wear high heels to the club all the time, and it's torture. Now I feel like I have a hammer toe that's just being torn from the joint. And I've seen so many doctors, but not one can really help me. I've fallen off my high heels and sprained my ankle very badly, twice. Both times I ended up on crutches. Research from the United States suggests that high heels may be the new form of birth control. The change in posture causes internal organs to push down on a woman's pelvis, which can lead to impaired fertility. So I guess is that saying that all of us who wear Birkenstocks, are we super fertile? Is that what that is? I'm just checking. We're going to downtown Toronto to ask men if they are more turned on by shoes or by underwear. If the research is correct, men will choose shoes. If our survey of women is correct, men will choose underwear. Does she find more of a turn on, shoes or underwear? <laughs> uh, underwear, definitely. Underwear. Underwear? Yeah. I, I prefer underwear. I guess they probably look better on the floor. Definitely got to be underwear. That's going more towards the goal. More towards the goal. The goal being penetration. Must penetrate, ladies. Ladies underwear, turn me on. A lot better than shoes. Ladies underwear, yeah. Shoes or underwear? Underwear. We have to take the clothes off to see. So I think that's more sexy. Underwear, actually. Honestly, if I'm having sex with a girl, I'm not really thinking about her feet. Underwear more sexy. Oh, shoes, definitely. I don't know, there's just something hot about it. Uh, underwear. Yes, definitely. I prefer underwear, and sometimes I prefer shoes without underwear. Most of the men being questioned I'm not sure I want them to talk about my underwear. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, seriously, your know, underwear is good. The women in our survey are correct. The majority of these men, 80%, are more turned on by underwear than by shoes. <laughs> it's been three months since Dawn had surgery to improve the appearance of her feet. Dawn's big toes are no longer out of alignment. 
The bunions have been removed from her left foot and her right. I'm really happy that I had this done. I would do it again in a minute. I'm excited to get on with my new life with my new feet. Now that Dawn has had her bunions removed, can she wear high heels? When I look in the mirror now, I see prettier feet. I'm definitely wearing high heels. I wanted to do some salsa classes, so I'll definitely have to wear heels for that. I do feel sexier with my new feet. Before, I was self-conscious, and uh, when I would wear a sexy outfit, I was worried that my feet would take your attention away or people would be drawn to my ugly feet. So definitely, it's, uh, I guess it's a whole package now.